Hey guys, Brandon here from GoPros and Stuff 19. Uh, finally have my 3DR solo, uh, but not in a complete pack that I ordered yet. So I ordered this from B&H uh, early or like mid uh, May, thinking I'm gonna get it late May or early June. Well, that didn't happen. Uh, they were available, but I didn't get it because I ordered with the backpack and the gimbal, of course. I wanted the gimbal for the smooth flights. And the gimbal, the backpack is not being shipped out until late July and the gimbal not until they said mid-July. We'll see how uh, delayed that gets. So I called B&H and I said, so how much longer? And they told me when those parts are coming in. And then I'm like, was well, the drone ready? And they said, yes, the drone's ready, but you ordered as a complete, don't send anything until it's all ready. And I did, because I didn't think it was gonna take this long. So I'm like, okay, can we just ship it out now? So I called about a week ago, maybe even less. And they said, okay, yeah, just call back tomorrow and say, ship the drone with your order number, blah, blah, blah. So I did, so this was about like five days ago or so, and uh, and so now I have the drone so I could fly at least. I will not have that smooth uh, gimbal footage with like the, the tilting axle and all that from the remote, but I have something that I could at least fly and get some uh, aerial photography and video from. Uh, so in the meantime, it's pretty much like a smart uh, DJI Phantom, because I had a Phantom, so it'll pretty much just be that kind of quality of video because I'm filming with a GoPro and um, and it's just not with a gimbal though. So we'll see how it looks. I'm just gonna try to fly it very, very smoothly and uh, and uh, you know, without wind so it could be as smooth as possible because without that gimbal, it's actually pretty darn hard. So we'll get that gimbal uh, sometime this month, apparently, and that's what they told me. And when that happens, then I could do some really, really nice stuff. But today, as I'm filming this, is July 3rd, and there's a neighborhood fireworks display that a lot of people come to. If I could be airborne within a couple hours and confident enough to fly it uh, for the fireworks, I'll be happy. So this drone, the Phantom, was smart in the sense that, like, with the GPS mode and come home and all that. But this is on another level, which is kind of bittersweet. It's sweet when you, when you know everything about it, when you know all the features. But as of now, I studied and studied this drone like crazy and it's still just a bit much for me. Um, it's just so smart of a drone that I just want to be able to at least just fly it a little bit just so I know what I'm doing. Cool, there's that. And uh, while I'm here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something I made for this for my phone. So I'm gonna be, uh, in the meantime, until I decide to get an iPad or something like that, I'm gonna be using my phone. So I built this out of cardboard and blue tape. I put a GoPro sticker on here and I put the holes here so it could connect to my phone. So I'm gonna put my phone in here, as you can see, and then I'm going to be able to, uh, to see like this with that sunshade. So something I just kind of whipped together on my own. Uh, we'll see how that works. Okay, so with that, let's just see where to open this. We just got a little bit of tape here. I'm gonna do that. And then you just get this little included case. And then you don't need that. Okay. Let's see. I think this is probably Velcro. Let's see. There's like a button here. Undo that. And Velcro. And let's see what we got here. All right. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and put that right over here. And then it says start here. We're going to go ahead and uh, take this out first though. That's a very, very uh, good feeling controller, they're right. Uh, apparently the guys who made the Xbox One controller, uh, or designed the Xbox One, uh, and the controllers I think, uh, designed this. So it does feel very, very similar. It has a nice little, uh, it has a nice weight to it. All the buttons feel very nice. Um, yeah, so first impressions on the controller. Seems very, very nice. So we're gonna start here, where it says. This contains setup guide, propellers, and a controller charger. All right, so you just cut that with a knife. Let's see what we got here. Here's a little startup guide. We're probably in different languages or something. Yeah, okay, so we'll get to that. Here are black props and silver props. You can tell with like their little top right there. And our controller charger. So we'll get to that. And in this box, So here, I don't know what this is, we'll get to that. Here is the Solo battery charger with some 
a different kind of connection. I don't really know what this one's for. I think it just might link up together. Yeah, you just unplug that and then link these and then you start charging the battery. That's what it looks like at least. So with that, I don't really think I'll be using this case as like a travel case. Uh, that's why I got the backpack. But with that, that's pretty much what you get. Uh, let's see what was in here. Probably like another kind of startup guide or some form. Oh, and you got some stickers in here with some more, I don't know, warranty card and all that. So that's that. And uh, so again, July 3rd, uh, so the neighborhood has a firework display and I really wanted this drone before the 4th of July and uh, the 3rd of July for this. So hopefully in the next couple hours I could really get uh, familiarized with this and start flying very confidently because I don't want to be flying over people's heads and my neighbors and all that and they're going to think it's cool until it uh, you know, lands on their head. So again, I want to be really confident when I fly this, so I might not fly today, I'm hoping to. So I'm going to go ahead and just re-familiarize myself with everything, but that was just the unboxing. Thank you guys for watching, have a good day.